Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the fusel puzzle. This is Wordle, but the rules change on every row. So for example, the rules on that top row are that one of those clues is a liar. So maybe the S should be yellow, or maybe the E should be grey? We just don't know. We'll try and get some more information as we go on. Orange hints mean that the letter is within three guesses of your letter in the alphabet. Okay. So, I think I want to try... So let's keep the E. Let's see if that's in the word. And let's try completely new letters other than that. How about caper? Oh. Oh, that hasn't helped at all because the third letter, for example, could still be E, couldn't it? But we know that the first and fourth letters are now very restricted. Right, the colouring is inverse. Blue tiles mean that another letter from your guess is in that spot. Okay. So we've ruled the first letter down to just five options. Again, I kind of want to see if there's an E at the start. Maybe that's foolish. This letter, B, C, D, F, G, or H, none of those really looks like it would be the fourth letter of a word. Unless I suppose maybe it's a G, H ending. So, can we think of something that's a G, H ending? The trouble is, if it is a G, H ending, I'm always tempted to put O, U before it. But we can't do that, because if we have O, U, then the O is lying in row one, which means that the E is telling the truth, which means that the E would be in the word as well. So long story short, if we've got the O, we've also got to use the E. So then it's not going to be an O-U-G-H ending. So that begs the question of what is it going to be instead? Let's go back to this fourth letter. Could be a CK ending? Maybe something like brick? Brick, I think, is actually consistent so far. Oh, it's consistent, I think, but it's not told us a thing. Right, what's this? You're not allowed to use six random letters. Failed is for six random letters that it's picked for us. I don't think that's random. I think it's telling me something. Right, at least we've got the first letter. Definitely a B. So... Oh, I really, I've got no idea what I'm doing now. I really need to find out for sure if there's an E. And I suppose I should also try and see if there's a U. But the trouble is, that means I want to do budge, and I can't, because I can't use the D. Can I think of anything similar to budge? I want to try the U. It has to start with a B, and I have to I have to use the U and the E. And I don't want to use the R, so I don't want to do something like broke. I mean, that doesn't use the U anyway, so <laughs> I definitely don't want to do bloke or broke. Oh, what do I want to do? Hmm. There still could be an A, that's the problem. We've ruled out the I now, but there still could be an A, just not in second, because the rules on that second row were different, so the A might be third. But again, we cannot try it on this guess, which is quite annoying. I'm just going to try Bumpy, why not? Oh, there is a U. That's helpful. What about this? You don't get yellows, the only hints are letters at the correct position. Right. So it starts with a B. There's a U, which probably would come third? So that means the second letter is probably an L. So let's try that as a starting point. Oh, this letter is restricted, isn't it? I forgot about that. Had to be close to that E from row two. So maybe it's bluff. That would be consistent because on the top row it would mean that the E was the liar because it's not in the word. So I called it bluff. Very happy to get that. I was absolutely nowhere for a while and then getting the B and the U helped a ton, clearly. So that's the fusel puzzle. 
Thank you for watching. Let me know how you got on in the comments, and bye for now.